Alright, so if you guys want to go into the draw to win this AK4500, you guys just have to sign up to the, my email list where you guys can get flat footage and free tutorials for the LUTs I sell. So all you have to do is sign up to that email list, don't have to purchase anything or anything, and you'll go into the draw to win this gimbal so this gimbal is awesome i used it in sydney i choose to use the ronin s just because i'm more comfortable with it i've had more practice with it i know the sensitivity of the joystick but otherwise this is a really good gimbal it holds the very heaviest of cameras so it holds my 1dx and a heavy lens a 16 35 on it and this is next to brand new guys i've only used this once i attempted to sell it but i couldn't quite sell it on online i thought i'd just give it away to you guys we're coming up to 100,000 subscribers anyway and near the end of the video i'll go over some other ways you guys can go increase your chances of winning at this let me know what you think about the tutorial i love these colors i'm always going to be trying to figure out more awesome LUTs for you guys and giving you guys good high quality flat footage from cameras professionals use allowing you guys to download it follow free tutorials and get the exact same results as you see in these tutorials so so make sure you head over to martintrader.com down in the description sign up to the email list get the flat footage follow the free tutorials and you guys will get in the draw to win this gimbal guys i'm gonna go over this gold and blue lut that i made and then we'll go over how to use it in different clips and that so i'll just show you the footage you probably just saw and then over here we'll look at some story blocks video because i quite often use story blocks to just get a real range of colors when you're making luts because when i'm making my luts i want heaps of different lighting scenarios so i quite often use them to make my luts i just want to show you how they would look in different scenarios because i don't shoot weddings or anything like that but as you can see it looks great in this sort of lighting scenario first of all we'll just go over the clips of mine at the start here okay so here we have our adjustment layer here over all of our clips and if we just look at what is being used on it so here's our LUT doing pretty much 99% of the job right here I just add a touch of brightness it looks like it's just brightening the highlights there just a tiny bit and then LUT 90% of the job introducing those really nice blues those creamyish kind of highlights really nice colors let's go over to another clip so this one here these clips here are just what i use to do the, the before and after so this clip here all that i did is on and off i actually didn't do anything didn't use that at all so if we just look at what the LUT is doing blue and gold off and on pretty crazy change there to the colors i think they look way nicer way warmer um those blues stay there but as you can see they're much harder to see in the highlights onto the next clip this one for example looks like i just brought the temperature down so down here just brought it down a little bit and i just made those blacks a bit more black there's a good indicator of white balancing is just making your blacks black okay so that's before and after this clip absolutely nothing was used this clip here looks like i just brightened the highlights a touch and then there's the before and after really nice warm tones again this one nothing all right these clips here before and after looks like i just added a tiny bit of contrast probably underexposed these clips maybe and as you can see we're going to get those deep greens not those really warm greens because this is quite a shady shot so we're going to get deep greens and then over here to say this shot's a bit brighter we're going to get those nice warm desaturated greens uh, what i did bit of contrast again and it didn't use that color wheel at all so again if we go to lut on and off right blues there warmth in the dark areas a little bit nice blues that also have warmth in them it's like a warm blue it's hard to describe this shot pretty much zero changes looks like just a touch of contrast brighten this one a touch let's go before and after just a lot pretty giant change there yeah let's just skip through these a bit quicker pretty much all of these just didn't require any changing so just brighten that one a touch lot really big difference as you can see makes the eyes blue brings out all the blues there keep going shady shot so i'm in the shade there's trees back there are in the bright areas and then they go very warm 
But as for changes, there's not a lot going on in any of these images really. Here's a dark shot, so I probably brought, had to brighten these ones. Nope, didn't do anything to this shot either. And really bringing out those blues and golds. Let's keep going real quick, get through the rest of these. So really blue tones in this one. Warmth and almost green. It's like a warm green in this, this one here. Uh, lots of warmth right on sunset here. Love those tones. Here in this shot, before and after. So sometimes the, these shots can look a little green. So I know this shot, for example, see how it looks a little green now? Well, in the color wheel, I just shifted it a bit to the purple. So whenever it looks a little green, I'm going mainly by skin tones. Whenever I look at the image with a LUT on it, I pretty much use skin tones to determine whether it's the right white balance. At the moment, she looks too green. So you can think of it as putting more purple into the image, or you can think of it as taking green out. But as you can see, like if you looked at a color wheel, green's over here, purple's are over here. If we add purples in, we're getting much closer to a red or an orange, and we're pulling those greens out. We're gonna end up over here, and then that really brings out the orange tones that we want in the skin. So we're looking to green, add purple in, we get much nicer skin tones before and after just by putting 10 in there. Okay, so we'll get over to some story blocks images. I find these really helpful when I'm making LUTs because I get such different lighting. Any lighting I want, I just search it. I try to work in 4K, it helps a lot, but there's less variety. And don't pay attention to quality, image quality, just pay attention to colors. So as you can see, we get those rich caramels in. So this is quite a bright shot. So it gets warmed up quite a bit. I like to search weddings into story blocks because you get such a variation in colors and you get inside shots, you get outside shots, you get skin tones, you get good lighting and there's plenty of it on story blocks. So before and after, really rich tones there. So these blacks, I love how these blacks go very black and then just have a touch of blue in them. And then obviously really bringing out those orange tones. I love the colors in this one. As you can see, so much warm tones introduced and then it balances those really warm tones with like a little bit of blue in the shadows. Looks awesome. So all you have to do is like take contrast out since Storyblocks, the contrast is already gonna be in the image. So you just need to take out some saturation and so you just take out the contrast if you want and then like take out some saturation. So I just drop the saturation a bit and you get these awesome awesome tones on and off as you can see those blacks just have a hint of blue in them just a hint of blue in the blacks and it looks really nice because it perfectly complements the warm highlights so this is a good one with lots of blacks so if we go before you can see there's a bit of purple in the blacks a little bit and as purples go a really nice blue skin really pops it looks really rich and nice so this is another good bright shot looks great for wedding stuff really warm this one it's almost a green it's like a really nice really nice warmth there so before and after it might have too much contrast but that's just because it's story blocks it doesn't come flat so this is going to show how it really brings out the gold tones we just click our adjustment layer makes them a bit richer really nice tones here so we keep those blacks very black while introducing so much warmth into the rest of the image that looks really good as you can see obviously drop makes those greens way more warmer and desaturated this one quite a white image and we just warm it up a touch while keeping those very whites the whitest whites not too warm because that will throw off how natural your image looks like you definitely want to keep your whites either white or very close to white, but your highlights, which are like over here, they can have a hint of warmth to them and it won't look unnatural. Okay, so this really brings out the blues and then we'll, you'll see the real warm tones as well. So we just really emphasize the cool tones and really emphasize the warm tones, enhancing them. Really brings out those blues there, brings out the warmth and the highlights. You see how cool it looks in there? It almost gets rid of that. So that's a really big change. It's a good change there. 
looks great awesome tones here before and after you could imagine that on really high quality footage we're just using story blocks 1080 at the moment try to work in 4k though really nice tones there tones again that looks so good okay so this shot here skin tones and a lot of blacks so if we just turn this off and on emphasizing the skin tones emphasizing blacks and blues let's get across okay so you'll see how this slightly warms up the image almost gets rid of those blue tones there's warm tones in the background get enhanced so you can see we've got purples there and they shift to a lot more of a blue the greens in the background way warmer let's keep going for after again one with lots of greens and now we'll get to like the outside really warm ones so this shot for example it's probably too saturated but again it's story blocks footage you just have to take it out it doesn't look the best but you can see the colors it is putting in those rich oranges there so what i might do since it's story blocks i actually drop the temperature a bit because it's just getting a bit too warm there but it's still pretty warm drop saturation a bit start to get something really nice there this one's a nice one as well with warm greens so i shoot flat for my stuff but as you can see it works perfectly fine for any profiles you just might have to take out some contrast but, or saturation but otherwise it's great um, so here's in the snow I like that too and yeah just a few more clips a uh, really nice warm one here Introducing the oranges and then the greens especially love that much warmer yeah and then we just got more skin tone sort of videos so if i just turn this one off you can see uh, that's just a bit of contrast this one so this one's just a bit of contrast dropping the shadows sort of gives contrast so this shot is one of my shots it's um cine style so it came off a little green so what i do as you can see the only thing in this adjustment layer is the lot pretty much and she comes off a little green her skin tones are a little green so color wheel what i did was just add in quite a bit of purple and then warmed it up a little as well and you can just see how that makes now if i turn it off and on this is the only changes down here and i turn it off and on see how skin goes from a little bit green to a nice orange so that's what i want just shifting the balance a bit there but as you can see here's another good one got this guy here his skin tones look great same with these skin tones and then all those blues back there we just go off and on okay so there's not a lot of changes that need to be made after this lut pretty much the same as any any lut just a bit of color adjustments got to make sure it's white balanced it's not the end of the world if it's not white balanced some people don't mind that that it's like extra warm or something like that okay so this shot i like this shot because it's such a long clip with lots of different angles so lots of different lighting so you can see really rich red almost red coming in this angle Let's go off and on really warms it up cross get those warm blues down there that's yeah, really nice colors and then out here it's almost a bit too warm here but i think it looks good and then inside shot of mine pulling out those blues these like some bamboo ones so you can see it almost goes a green in bright scenarios sometimes it's a bit of a green i quite like that i don't always want these deep oranges but you can see how those those especially those greens up top there, there's this nice orange green to them or yellow soft yellow quite like that and that's about it this one shows off a bit of blues it's just a skin tone shot so this is story blocks as well you have to take out contrast i was a look won't look great okay but as you can see yeah those greens those skin tones turn this off and on bang looks great and then as you can see those warmer highlights there and then just a little bit of blues in the darker areas that looks cool so that's about it guys 
you guys can get your hands on a lot of this footage so you can follow along. You can use story block stuff if you want. Just search wedding shots. You'll find a lot of those ones I just used. Otherwise, I will make my footage available for you guys to download so you can have the tutorial, have the footage, and then get the LUT and you get exactly what you see here. So thanks for watching, guys. The link is somewhere on my website that you can go download this footage. Let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, I really love these tones. These are almost my favorite. Uh, let me know what you think and yeah catch ya okay guys so back to the giveaway that we're doing for this uh gimbal you guys go over to instagram follow and give me a comment as well comment on this video as well and that will greatly increase your chances of winning this gimbal so that's it guys go over to martinstrader.com and sign up to the email list to get your free flat footage that matches up with a lot of these tutorials you can follow along and then you can get the same results as i'm showing in these tutorials because i think that's what a lot of people are missing uh, comment down below guys what colors you guys want to see next or what you want me to try to achieve for you guys i really want to launch a color grading mini course but i'm just working so hard on my photo editing course that i just don't have time to do that i want to put everything into this photo editing course even though photo editing and video editing in terms of color grading is exactly the same skills so maybe if you are trying to be a color grader for example for video getting that photo editing course will probably actually help you a lot and this gimbal also comes with uh, the accessory kit for the gimbal here so this gives you an arm um, an extra arm to take leverage when operating it so you can do tilts easier comes with comes with the accessory for follow focus on your lens so huge value guys make sure you sign up to that email list over at martinstrader.com and catch you in the next one